Now, if increased brain size is the single most important characteristic in the origin of the genus Homo, the second most important characteristic is the reduction in post-canine tooth size. So recall that all strepithecines throughout their evolution have been, in many cases, getting larger and larger post-canine teeth. The premolars are getting larger and acting and appearing more and more like molars. The molars are getting larger so that by the end of the robust osteopathocenes, we have these hyper-robust chewing teeth, some of them being almost the size of a quarter in terms of the surface area that they present. Beginning with the genus Homo, we begin to see a reduction in that trend or a divergence from that trend. And this is perhaps most evident if we look at some of the premolars of these specimens. These mandibles here, for example, are some of the representatives of early Homo found first at Olduvai Gorge dating back to the early 1960s by Leakey, Napier, Tobias, and colleagues. And if you look at these specimens, one of the things you notice is that the premolars are much smaller than the molars. They're no longer taking on that real molar-like form that they did in the Australopithecines. They're beginning to show clear differentiation in terms of both their size and their morphology than the molars. In other words, they're much more like the premolars you and I have in our mouths today. This reduction in the overall dentition size extends actually throughout all of the post-canine teeth. Now, not all of the teeth are getting smaller. In some cases, the incisors are beginning to get broader and a little bit larger and occupying more space in the jaw. But the post-canine teeth, the premolars and the molars, are getting smaller. This change in dentition size and form presumably reflects an ecological change in terms of the diet of early Homo. Smaller teeth because presumably they don't need the large kind of chewing teeth that the Australopithecines had. So this reduction in dental size presumably corresponds to a change in dietary patterns and ecology in early Homo.